Hi, Andy Peters here, Caldwell ISD. It is October 1st and we have a bye week, so there's no game, no football game this week. We're resting up. I want to update you on some facilities. I'm standing in the old ag shop, been here since the early 80s, and it's getting a full new facelift because of the 2018 bond. You're getting all new Lincoln welders and we see it's got a new paint, got new ventilation, new electrical. We're real proud of everything we're able to do for Caldwell High School's ag department and our welding shop. For all this welding equipment, it takes a lot of new electricity, so we brought in extra power to the ag shops. So all this power is needed for, to catch the welders up to the 21st century, and so they have the supply of electricity they need to perform the skills that young people will need to enter the workforce in the future. So here we are outside of the egg shop and on the back side of Caldwell High School next to the greenhouse. And we just want to let you know, I know this has been a kind of a dirt pile for a while. Everybody's wondering what's happening. We're waiting on some steel, but this will be an outdoor learning area for our welders. And they'll be able to do construction projects here and uh, there'll be a canopy as well. We hope this will all be finished up by the 1st of November. Hi, I'm standing behind the junior high school. This is located on County Road 300 and this is our new weight room that we just opened up about a week ago for our junior high students. It's for seventh and eighth graders and uh, we have a boys locker room and a girls locker room and we'll take you inside and take, have you take a look at it real quick. This is all part of the 2018 bond and we want to thank you the taxpayers of Caldwell ISD for providing this for our students. Here we are inside the weight room. We have a class going on right now of young people. The weights have not arrived yet. That's why this space is so spacious, but we'll have weights here in about two weeks and this will be a great place to get our young Hornets ready before they go off to high school. So here we are inside the boys' locker room with a complete set of showers, commodes, sinks, and everything they need to keep cleaned up. And then this is the locker room with some really nice sized lockers for our young uh, uh, Hornet athletes to be and uh, very excited that we have a nice facility for them and they're not going to be crammed in here. We can serve all the students both in PE and in athletics with this beautiful facility. In the school business storage is always a challenge and so we're blessed to have some extra storage for all of our athletic equipment here at the junior high school. Now I want to transcend. Everything I've showed you so far is projects that are finishing up the 2018 bond. We have been very conservative and watched our finances over the last few years and the board has saved up money over years to do some other projects that were not in the bond. Primarily a couple years ago we turfed the football field. It saves water, it's a safety factor and allows our students more time to practice and in the long run it's actually a cost savings. Our plan is this next year to turf the baseball field and the softball field as well. In addition, we want to add tennis courts, but I want to make it perfectly clear that all of this is being paid for out of savings that the taxpayers have accumulated over the last few years. I'm standing in the middle of the current baseball field. It's pretty rugged shape because it's not baseball season, and our hope is that we're able to turf this field before baseball season starts February 1st, 2022. A bid package has been uh, proposed. We have vendors and contractors looking at it, and we will have the actual pricing on October 5th, that's, that's next Tuesday, and we'll be taking that to the board for their approval if it fits within our budget. But our, our goal is to turf the baseball, turf softball, and add tennis courts, eight tennis courts, which will actually be right here behind the left field uh, fence. There's eight acres over there which has access uh, from County Road 307, uh, just off of 21, and there'll be some beautiful tennis courts there that'll be ready to go for our kids to practice on and to play on. We even hope to host the Junior High UAL Tennis Tournament there next May. So from athletics, I want to just remind you, the 2018 bond focused a lot on classroom space, the new Pre-K-3, the new CTE building at the high school, some renovations to the junior high. I showed you how the final pieces were to do the weight room at, for the junior high as well. And then we had some tax savings that we've been able to use, uh, save up for a while, that's turfing the fields and providing for tennis courts. But fine arts is not left out either. 
A few years ago, we put in all new house lights, we put in new stage lights, we're constantly adding to it. And this next spring, we will be replacing the theater seats. They're 35 plus years old. I know they're kind of squeaky, they've had a lot of age on them. And so we want you to come and enjoy the, the performances that our students give you here. And so new seats are coming again, not part of the bond, but part of the tax savings that we've been able to accumulate for you. And we're so excited about the new seats coming this spring. Great things happening to Caldwell ISD. Thank you to the parents, the community, the businesses, and all the people that support a great Caldwell. I'm Andy Peters for Caldwell ISD, and that's a wrap.